Watts section of Los Angeles, Charles Mingus became one of America's most influential composers. He began studying bass at age 16. By 20, he was playing with Louis Armstrong and later Lionel Hampton. In the 50s, he established himself in New York, gigging with Charlie Parker, Miles Davis, Duke Ellington, and others. About this time, he co-founded the Jazz Composers Workshop, where he developed his method of working without scores, shouting instructions to his sidemen during performances. Musically experimental and politically outspoken, Mingus became a controversial figure. This Neil could be working, waiting. Many of his compositions combine music with poetry. The day when burning sticks and crosses is not mere child's play, but a madman in his most incandescent bloom. Freedom. The gospel music he heard growing up had a lasting impact on his music. He studied classical composition with Hermann Reinschagen of the New York Philharmonic. In the 60s, he experimented with orchestral settings, recording with 22 instruments on several Ellington-influenced compositions. Mingus never fully realized a classical career because, as he said in his autobiography, Beneath the Underdog, jazz got in the way. we can still enjoy the brilliant contributions of one of our most respected musicians. One day they came and they took the communists and I said nothing because I was not a communist. Then one day they came and they took the people of the Jewish faith and I said nothing because I had no faith left. One day they came and they took the unionists and I said nothing because I was not a unionist. One day they burned the Catholic churches and I said nothing because I was born a Protestant. Then one day they came and they took me I could say nothing because I was as guilty as they were for not speaking out and saying that all men have a right to freedom. Mm -hmm. 